Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a ticket that I got for having one headlight. So I was stopped by the police and they gave me a ticket for having one headlight. Now, one of the headlights, the bulb was blown. So it's a $6,000 ticket, $6,000. So I went to get it fixed. The electrician charged me $500 and the bulb cost, call it $400 with the tax and everything. So less than $1,000 to fix it. And the government gave me a ticket for $6,000. Now, I think that ticket is a bit excessive. Not to mention some of the other tickets out there. Now, yes, Jamaica has a problem with lawlessness on the road, but I don't think you should be charging a six charging six thousand dollars just for a blown headlight. I mean, even two thousand. Now remember, it costs less than a thousand dollars to fix. Yes, yet the government wants six thousand dollars. So guys, what do you think about these fines? I mean, have you experienced, have you gotten a ticket since February 1st when the new system came in? And I'm not even sure if this thing carries points. But what do you, has anybody gotten any tickets since February 1st with the new fines? And what do you think of these fines? And also persons who live outside of Jamaica. When you get a blown headlight, what is the fine like in, say, the USA, Canada, UK, wherever you are residing now? But, I mean, I just think $6,000 for a headlight is a bit excessive. Because once you, once you drive a car, your headlight is going to get blown. I mean, they could give a smaller fine. Because nobody's intentionally going to drive with a blown headlight. So guys, let me know what you think and how it works in what, wherever you are. I'd love to get the feedback. Alright, and for those of you who want to know, we are on Hope Road driving from Halfway Tree to Ligony. If we turn left here, we would go on to East King's House Road. And if we turn right, we're going to go on to Lady Musgrave Road. And East King's House Road, which is all on the left, it's going to be um, done over. It's going to be upgraded basically to a four-lane dual carriageway. And so is Lady Musgrave Road. And remember, Barbican Road, or a section of Barbican Road, was recently upgraded. So you'll be able to drive on Barbican Road, East King's House Road, all the way down to Lady Musgrave Road. And Lady Musgrave Road takes you all the way to crossroads on a four-lane dual carriage road. It's like highway quality road. So there is a lot of progress going on. We have videos up of both roads, though, but the construction hasn't started yet. So we'll keep you guys updated. And Lady Musgrave Road actually has some new developments going on on it. So it's good that um, they renovate that road. Now, it's 4.45 in Jamaica, and take a look on the right. Take a look at the traffic over there. And so the upgrading those roads will definitely help with the flow of traffic in this entire area. This is just a start at the rush hour traffic.